What is up everybody, Key here. Today we are gonna be going through the melodic vocal preset that I just dropped on my website. We're gonna be going through each plugin in the preset. Usually I show you guys a before and after sample after each plugin. Is that helpful to you guys? Let me know in the comments below if that is helpful. For this vocal preset, I recorded it with a Rode NT2A and that's going into a Volt 276 audio interface. Really good audio interface, by the way. <laughs> More details on that coming soon. This is one of my favorite vocal presets. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this one. If you do enjoy it, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. That sounded pretty dope, right? Right away, I'm gonna show you a before and after sample with the effects on versus the effects off. Let's go ahead and listen to it with it on first. Once I let little baby, how about little dirt? Got you for both, just follow my work. Start with the retune up to the max. Congratulations, your focus on trash. They do so much, it's EQ for that. I pass the 70, low ends are bad. Subjective EQ up to the low pass. Get rid of them frequencies that make you mad. Yuck. Add another EQ. Okay. Boost up them highs for clarity. Push the mids real low. I make you mad. Yuck. I kept the auto tune on. That's for obvious reasons. I can't sing. We'll start with the lead vocals then. I did end up using an autotune artist, but really you can use any autotune plugin of your choice here. For the autotune, I have it set the retune speed all the way up to zero. It's in a, a D minor scale, no humanized, no vibrato, no flex tune. There's plenty of pitch correction options out there that you can use. You could still use the same settings as I have. Now let's go into the actual vocal chain itself. If you download this vocal preset, this comes with macros that you are able to adjust yourself. I have it set up so you can adjust the clarity, the gain, the de the beef, the reverb, and delay in which we will be going through in this vocal chain. So we're gonna start with the NS1 plugin. The NS1, it's called a noise suppressor plugin. And basically what it does is it takes out those unwanted background noises in the mix, such as a computer fan or just ambient noise that's around the room. It's really helpful to have on a mix if your room isn't necessarily acoustic treated. Next up, we have a vocal rider. What it essentially does is it levels your vocals as you're listening to it in the mix. If there's a part in the vocals where the volume of your vocals are too low, it raises it and vice versa. If the vocal volume is too high in your mix, it'll decrease the volume, making sure that it is more level in your mix. So for this, I have the target set at negative 15.9. I have the vocal sensitivity to 1.6. I have it set to slow, so when it rides, that's the speed at which it rides your vocals. My range is set at 3.3 decibels and negative 2.0 decibels. All right, moving on to the F6 RTA EQ. So what we're doing here is we are taking out the unwanted frequencies in the mix. I turned everything off. I bypassed everything in the vocal chain except the first three plugins that we talked about. And what I'll do is I'll give you a preview of what I did to get the subtractive EQ. Let's increase the gain and I'm gonna swift through the frequency range. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like here. So let's go ahead and press play. One sound like little baby, how about little dirt? Got you for both, just follow my work. Start with the retune, up to the max. Congratulations, your vocals are trash. They do so muddy, it's EQ for that. I pass the 70, low ends are bad. So if you're wearing good monitor headphones, in which I definitely suggest you do, you'll hear that it definitely sounds like there's a whistling sound in there. Also, it sounds a little boxy or tinny. It's something that you just don't want in your vocal mix. You wanna just lower the gain, not too much, but enough to take it out to where you don't hear it in the mix overall. That's essentially what I did for each frequency band. All right, moving on to the SSL E channel. We'll start with the high frequencies. I have this set at 6.7 decibels. We're basically boosting the highs in the mix to give it more clarity. And then I have it set at 14.15 kilohertz. And then for the high mid frequencies, I have this set at 4.72 kilohertz and decrease the decibels about negative 5.1 decibels. And then I have the Q set at 0.82. Moving on to the low frequencies, I have it set at 0.89 kilohertz. I got the decibels decreased to negative 3.9 and the Q is gonna be at 0 0.56. Last but not least, the low frequencies, I have it set to 151 hertz. And then I'm also decreasing the decibels to negative 2.6. So at this time, I'm gonna give you a before and after and what it sounds like. So before first. One sound like little baby, how about little dirt? Got you for both, just follow my work. And then we'll turn it on. 
what we did already. One side little baby, how about little dirt? Got you for both, just follow my work. Start with the retune up to the max. Congratulations, your vocals are trash. They do some muddy, cause EQ for that. I pass the 70, the low ends are bad. Subjective EQ up to the low pass. Get rid of them frequencies that make you mad. Okay, so that's what we got there. Moving on to the compressor. One of my favorite compressors, our compressor. All I did was decrease the threshold, set the ratio to 2.14, and then increase the gain because when we compress the vocals, it decreases the volume overall. So we, we want to have that makeup gain to uh, boost the volumes back to where it should be. A really fast attack and then pretty fast release as well at 36.8. Moving on to the de -esser. Very simple de -esser. One of my favorite de -essers actually because it's so easy to use. All I did was load it and then decrease the threshold to negative 29.0. Next, we have an Arvox. And Arvox is another compressor, but this there's something with this compressor that adds more flavor back into the mix. It also gives your vocals a little bit more beef. And what I did here was I set the gate to negative 61.3. You don't really need to do that. You could just turn it down to negative infinity. <laughs> and then I decreased the threshold to negative 8.0 while also decreasing the gain negative one. Here's what everything sounds like with and without. So without first. One side like little baby, how about little dirt? Got you for both, just follow my work. Start with the retune up to the max. Congratulations, your vocals are trash. They do some muddy. There's EQ for that. High bass is 70, the low ends are bad. Subjective EQ up to the low. All right, sounds good so far. Last but not least, we have the effects, which very simple reverb and delay. I'm a big Manny Mariquin fan. Everybody that watches my videos knows I talk about these plugins all the time. I have the time set to 116.6%, have it as a plate reverb set to small, and then the reverb amount set to 12.7, really low reverb amount. And then the dry and wet knob is gonna be set to 73.7. I have the highs set at 14.9 mids negative 12 and the lows negative 8.7 here's what it sounds like with and without the reverb without first one side like little baby how about little dirt got you for both just follow my and here's what it sounds like with one side like little baby how about little dirt got you for both just follow my work start with the retune up to the max congratulations your vocals are trash honestly adds so much to the mix I really love adding reverb to the mix. All right, next up we have delay. I have the dry and wet knob set to 28.3. The delay itself is set to one half. The high pass set to 301 and the low pass set to 4906. The feedback is gonna be at 27.2. I did throw a phaser in there and a reverb on top of it. So it adds that phaser and that reverb sound in the delay itself. So this is what it sounds like with and without. So without first. One side like little baby, how about little dirt? Got you for both. Then with? One side like little baby, how about little dirt? Got you for both. Just follow my work. Start with the retune up to the max. Congratulations. Sweet. And that concludes the lead vocals. Now for the ad libs, I essentially kept everything the same as the lead vocals. The only thing I added was another EQ on here, making it sound like a telephone effect. And here's what I mean by that. Let's turn off the lead vocals here and just focus on the ad libs. These two are gonna be the ad libs in the playlist. So this EQ is basically taking out all the lows in the mix. It's just leaving those high ends, the mid frequencies, as well as the high frequencies in the mix, making it sound more like a, a telephone effect. If I didn't have that on, this is what it would sound like. Yuck. Okay. And then with it on. Yuck. Okay. As far as the effects go, I did keep everything the same. The only thing I added was a doubler two. And this is just more or less just to give a, a, a stereo effect in the ad libs, making sure that it's not just a mono ad lib. You, you wanna make sure that it's spread out. For the doubler two, this is what I did. I decreased the gain in voice one and voice two. I also decreased the gain in the direct vocals. Moving on to the reverb, kept pretty much the same as the lead vocals and same as the delays. This is what the ad lib vocals sound like all together. So we're gonna do before. Yuck. Okay. And then we're gonna do after. Yuck. Yuck. Okay. okay. Huge difference. After all that is said and done, here is what we got. Dirt. Got you for both, just follow my work. Start with the retune up to the max. Congratulations, your vocals are trash. They do some muddy. There's EQ for that. I bet the 70, low ends are bad. Objective EQ up to the low pass. Get rid of them frequencies that make you mad. Yuck. Add another EQ. Okay. Boost up them highs for clarity. Push the mids real low. Like another reason they're going to therapy. Going to therapy. Wait, what? It's time to compress, push down that threshold. What did you say before? Hey. 
If you're curious about the lyrics, I did post a video on my Instagram. You guys can check it out. And while you're there, you could just follow me if you want to see stuff like that. I do have more FL Studio vocal chains coming as well. So just stay tuned for that. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys want to hear next as far as vocal presets go. Until then, guys, have a blessed day. Peace.